Hello, Battle Brothers. So today I'm starting a new uh, style of playthrough. Uh, this is a continuation of the previous one. A few people asked me to actually comment and I'm gonna try my best. I'm not a native English speaker so it's gonna be a little tough for me. But yeah, let's see and try <laughs> this playthrough and see where it goes. So what I want to show uh, with this playthrough overall is just uh, the way to start a strong run, uh, get stuff that you wouldn't otherwise get uh, thanks to a few cute tactics and <laughs> a greedy way to play. As you can see I'm actually using knives over normal weapons, though I usually uh, put them in the back so that I have an option to actually deal damage uh, if the knife is just uh, not gonna hit the enemy because it has a pretty big malus of minus 15% chance to hit. So uh, what I'm gonna try and show is uh, the uh, continuation uh, from early game to mid game and I think we've hit the mid game uh, after clearing this camp thanks to getting a huge boon of this extraordinary well-crafted piece of Lamla armor. So yeah, uh, this one is a pretty good piece um, fatigue is alright, durability could be higher, but yeah, this is a free late game uh, armor, so I'm not gonna complain. This is quite a cheat, uh, and yeah, I'm actually playing with mods, so uh, this mod uh, that I've shown how it worked uh, from this battle site, I've actually seen uh, what's gonna be in the uh, camp. So I'm, I'm just using it to have fun. I li really like the uh, uh, named item kind of thing. I like getting those and yeah, <laughs> don't judge me please. So yeah, uh, what we've achieved uh, besides getting uh, the uh, Lamlar armor is a pretty good uh, armor on our frontliners. We have this mail short, I think I'm gonna repair it just to get a little more out of our armor as 80s. Uh, usually gonna take one less hit than a ma mail short. So the last battle hit us pretty bad. Most guys have injuries. Uh, and these are like our top tier guys. <laughs> Actually fodder didn't even get hit. Uh, so that kinda sucks. We're gonna have to spend some time uh, healing up, but it's pretty good that they've survived. We're not gonna have to uh, waste time, uh, and they're actually level 3 and 2, so that's uh, time safe as well. Uh, finally, we've gotten uh, the shields back and a long sword out of this fight, so that's pretty good. Now I just want to get ourselves up to 12 people again because these are basically non-functional right now so let's check what the village has to offer uh, as I said uh, in the previous playthrough the trade roads uh, actually stays even though you've completed the uh, contract and uh, the settlement status is the same so yeah nothing is in here all we can do is sell Though the prices are quite horrible as I'm playing Beast Slayers, Beast Slayers actually <laughs> feel like playing expert difficulty, but I do get to have 200 tools and supplies, which is actually very good. It's pretty annoying to have only 150 on when playing on expert. So yeah, let's actually decide what we're gonna do now. I think I'm gonna go back south, as south is actually the easiest part of the map to play in. It's very safe, it doesn't have barbarians and it doesn't have any forest where you can get ambushed by a huge ton of some enemies like dire wolves of, or um, spiders. So let's just go south unless... yeah, we've already been there. So I'm not gonna go north. Uh, because they actually hate me there. That's pretty bad that I've actually attacked the uh, mercenaries, but we did get some equipment out of it. I hoped for the uh, 
uh, for the verbal, but I didn't get it, so that sucks, but yeah, you do what you have to do. We have to survive, we have to actually start our mercenary company strong, and we're gonna do just that. Let's continue. Here we have a few brothers, uh, a few lumberjacks. These are pretty good. I would actually like to try them out. This one is not so great, doesn't have a melee defense. So he's basically a flail guy. He's gonna hit hard, but he's like a cannon glass. If he cannot kill an enemy fast enough, he dies, and we're not looking for that right now. What I'm looking for right now out of brothers uh, is either fodder, because it's always useful to have some, and uh, the endgame bros, or at least somewhat good bros, like this guy for example. He's not amazing, but he's gonna do well into the late game, and at least save a few brothers if he cannot do well himself. So, yeah, after that fight we can actually uh, continue and see what we have here. So this caravan asks us to go to Ivendorf. It's probably in the north. Actually, no, it's the south one. Yeah, this one, it's too far away. We're going to get ambushed over here. So we're not going to take that. So now we have a choice of actually going to Oberberg or to this village we've never been to. So let's go here. I'm also going here because we can get recruits cheaply and discover what's in there. Uh, on the north side. So there's a local holiday and Alps. So Alps are pretty easy to do. So if, if it's Alps, we're gonna stay and actually kill them. Prices are the same here, even though there's no ambush trade routes. It's probably nightmares that uh, reduce the setting numbers, the modifier. Pit bricks would be useful to actually get. Okay, I'm actually saving the hair uh, to sell for full price if an event hits. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna sell it. You can also divide it by two to see the real modifier. So it will be 142. Actually, no, it's 47. So it's really close to 15 but since it's gonna go and around it on the low side it's pretty useless to sell here i'm still tempted to sell here because we only got two days worth of grounds for a company so yeah i guess we're gonna take the contract can we do it though not really it's gonna be really tough let's see uh, to kill alps we actually need rich weapons only got two. And it's two star contract, so I'm not really sure if I can complete that. So I guess I'm gonna go further south. And actually fight someone over here if there's any raiders and stuff. Actually there is five brigands. This is an easy fight and we're pretty scratched. 5 versus 10 of us. We can do that one easily. And we can also use that uh, equipment that we will get from this fight. So yeah, let's fight this. Let's wait, they will come to us. I'm just gonna skip the first round because it doesn't really make sense to go back and try to get high ground. We can win this one either way. 
Actually, there's a chance they won't come forward because I removed some brothers the reserve yeah I think they're not gonna move forward so we're gonna move forward ourselves okay this is safe three three spaces between the brothers so I'm just gonna go further down south because it's safer over there let's not waste our fodder so I'm not gonna respawn like I usually do. This guy can take on all of them. All right. So they think they have ranged advantage and superiority this is because I actually don't have uh, enough although I do have some I don't know this is weird but yeah it happens thugs do move forward though actually hit my guy Let's use weight and surround them. I'm not gonna go forward with the fodder though. I'm just gonna stand here. It's not worth it to risk it. Here I can just use normal attacks, I don't really care. Hmm. Actually missed an 80. Rolled a 100. actually move Mad Martigan over here. I'm not really afraid of this guy because well, I can kill him. I do like the idea of getting support though. Maybe I'll ignore it for now. Actually I can push him. If I push him he's gonna go over here I think. Because he's now shield vault and it's really hard to kill him. Let's deal with the thugs first. At least the guy actually goes down further south because reasons. He's probably eyeing this fodder guy. I'm gonna use my replenishable throwing net. So this is actually a mod which makes throw nets cost 400 and uses uh, ammo to replenish. It's pretty um, strong for a mod feels like cheating to be honest I just wanted to try it to see if it's uh, good or not or not it's definitely much easier to play with like this I would rather pay like 10 ammunition than always try to buy stuff it's pretty annoying to be honest so yeah this mod is actually great quality of life improvement so this guy is almost ready to run, so I'm just gonna knock him away. And actually do make him run. And these guys are gonna go over here. I'm not, I don't really like this position, so I'm just gonna stand here. This guy's gonna go here. This guy's gonna equip the shield and move here. I don't really want to move forward just yet, but if I don't, I can actually break the net and I want to keep the net going. So I'm gonna move and attack. 40% hit chance, not amazing, not too bad. So because this guy is gonna run, he's gonna actually uh, get his armor destroyed. This guy doesn't even have a knife, so I should equip it. Ouch, that hurts. Well, that makes us more likely to kill him next turn. 
So let's do the, just that. This guy's still throwing. A waste of time during the night. So do I want to move in here? Not really. But I can always knock this guy away. So let's just move, move in. Okay, this guy's not gonna move because he's netted. I do want to move forward, but I'm not gonna do that just now. Let's wait a bit. This guy's gonna wait. Don't really wanna waste this armor. We're missing a lot. <laughs> He's actually trying to round swing. Let's see. 21, 15, 22. <laughs> I guess he decided that it's more likely to hit that. But it's not. <laughs> it's really not. It's actually a boon to us. So let's win. Increase the hit chance and kill him next turn. just want to push him down and go up. Now full surround is gonna kill him. So we'll go for that. Ah, we're wasting this armor. Which is annoying but it doesn't really matter. We're doing fine this run. Killing raiders and thugs left and right. Now he's dead. Let's move in. Do we have anyone? Yep. This guy would actually like to get the skill, get more XP. He did. Now we got two level ups and pretty good armor. Especially the helmets, which are very nice. The flail is also very strong. Let's equip it immediately. But first level up. This guy wants melee attack and melee defense to survive in battle and actually hit his flail hits. Then he's pretty horrible on fatigue, so I would actually like some maximum fatigue for him. Uh, hit chance wise he's pretty good, but since he's a miner his fatigue sucks and he would actually be better off using wooden shield just to get a little more fatigue and we'll drop that as well. Give it to someone else. So for now, Colossus is all right. This guy got actually permanently injured, and yeah, he sucks. So he's basically fodder now. But such is the life of mercenaries. Let's improve the same stuff here. This guy is fodder, so I don't really care whatever. Uh, does he have? Though he does have some amazing melee skill, which is quite nice. Colossus will bring him back to normal. Though this resolve is just not gonna make him a frontliner. He's gonna go from the back, always using weight to surround enemies. Okay, next we want to equip some better stuff. This guy could use one. So does this guy. Let's actually repair that. So I usually don't repair it in the early game because you can get more armor, but this piece is hard to get by, hard to, hard to come by. 
Okay. Next, we can actually improve on the further armor pieces, but for now, let's just equip the 95s on other guys. So this guy is pretty horrible fatigue-wise. Cannot even give him anything better. This guy's melee skill is also horrible. So I try to give uh, flails only to guys who have more than 60 melee skill. But 59 is fine, so I'm tempted to give him a flail now. Yeah, this is quite tough. We need time. Time which we don't have. Uh, he's wearing this hat because it's minus 5 fatigue. We're lacking on the 140 hats. This one is minus 4, let's give him minus 5. Surprisingly, even though he has this huge piece, he still has decent fatigue. 62 is alright, especially when you have this kind of uh, armor set. So yeah, these guys, they have decent armor. I don't really want to waste uh, our tools on repaying those and giving it to them. Because that's just a waste of money. So yeah, we're pretty ready here. Let's actually give this to this guy and let Dreadhogan wear this. So we now have two 95 pieces. Could actually give some to fodder to actually improve on black line and hit chances for longer because they, they will survive longer. Okay, now we have a ton of stuff, we really want to sell it. Let's actually fix this flail, maybe this 95 piece. and move further south let's keep our eyes on the tracks since the bustlers get uh, better tracking it's actually pretty useful you can also nice another challenge actually conquered so you can actually get on the mountain real fast and see far far away and then get back and save time on actually watching the map. So that's a pretty expensive squire. Now we're gonna take him, sadly. There's two guys here. Pretty decent overall. Oh, that's actually great too. Cost. We almost don't have any food. So let's actually buy some and sell some. Well, there's even worse here, so let's just sell something that we don't need. Wait, uh, some armor pieces. This is a 63, slightly better than 55s. So I'll sell the 55s. This one was actually worse. So let's sell the bludgeon as well. And the axe. Otherwise, we're okay. We really need some money. I'm, wo I'm actually tempted to buy the tools, but it's not necessary right now. I want to uh, get this mason. He's decent. Tiny makes him pretty bad at doing damage, but melee defense 
offers tanking potential. And by the way, if you want to be named, just subbed. Uh, just get subbed, and I'm gonna name a bro after you. Okay, let's give him 95s, a shield. He's not amazing, so I'm not gonna try and make him into something. He's not. But he's good enough for now. Let's give him a hat as well. And probably a spear. Because otherwise he's not gonna hit shit. And give him the stuff sling to fake range superiority. So these guys have knives, let's take that away from them and give the other guys who actually need that. Like this guy for example. Okay, everyone has knives and we're ready to go. We can't get this contract. So let's just move either to don't turn, which is not very interesting. Opponent all. So let's go over here through the wild wilderness and maybe we'll see something to fight. This works. Orc Young, I don't know. This is like 5 to 7. We're not really ready to fight Orc Young. For now, but maybe soon. So niche. That's a brawler. I actually want him. Prices are even worse here, it seems. But I do want to get this food. Let's hope that the I want to say that let's hope it's not the Nightmares contract, but this is a one star contract, so I think I'm gonna take it. I need the money. Let's prepare for this. So there's gonna be 11 of us. I think we want to get rid of shields for now. Definitely knives are useless here and flails are horrible damage when it's not against the heads and I'm not actually willing to use foils this fight I'd rather use passions monsters in this game is all about adapting so yeah I'm actually willing to completely strip uh, the normal setup We can do this, just need a little help. These guys are gonna be the strongest here. 